We're in a tough climate. Um, this industry's tough. It's it's a it's a high competition industry. But at least we're willing to, to face it and stare it down and say, we'll do what we have to do to make changes. It's, it's a realization that you have to look at the business in a new, adaptive way. And that's what we're, we're doing. I'm, I'm, I'm proud of Brinks for looking at it that way. A continuous process improvement is really, I think, a way to always approach your business from the aspect that it's constantly changing and you have to change with it and improve it all the time. I view CPI as looking at the smaller details to make the bigger picture better, to make the room go smoother, everything run faster. Instead of trying to tackle the whole problem, we're tackling parts of the problem. You're always looking for those repetitions and things you don't need to do that don't really directly relate to what the customer is wanting to buy. What employees like about continuous process improvement is it makes us as leaders manage in a different way. I'm out there every day and I'm, I'm pushing them, I'm helping them. So they see that and it's kind of contagious. In the money room, we were literally forcing more work on ourselves through processes that didn't need to be there. The processes in the cash room are a lot smoother now because we're more clear of where money goes, how much money goes where, so things are just moving a lot quicker. One of the processes that's improved since we initiated CPI was the, the, the launch of our trucks in the morning. We looked at how we load and how we do the sequence of tasks and by changing some of that in the order and how we do things, we were able to make a dramatic change in how we get trucks out of the building. They get into our customers a little quicker, um, our customers are happy. Everyone seems to be working more as a team and things are moving faster and quicker because we seem to be looking out more for each other. I think one of the biggest tools we've implemented is the visual management board. The best way I've ever heard it explained is like a baseball scoreboard. It tells you how you're doing, how your co-workers are also doing. We have a visual workspace where everybody on the team knows where we are in the game. One of the things I've been most amazed at using a simple whiteboard in the workplace is that people really want to win. So even though you guys are friends, you hang out, you still want to beat your coworkers, so the numbers are great and then you see your numbers going up every week. Having access to the data with the visual management board helps me compare myself day by day and hour by hour, see where my high points, my low points. As soon as they got engaged in the board, some of my work teams wanted to know how are we stacking up against other Brinks branches? How do we get to be number one? Literally, they, they say those words, not us. We're not the ones creating the, the, the rally, they are. Well, when you see your numbers up on the wall, you don't want to be the last one on the wall. You want to be up there, so you know you, you move it. You try to keep moving. I feel very empowered with the data I've been given. It makes me control what I'm doing and notice where my flaws are and where I succeed. They understand what they're doing and how it relates to the business. We're leading differently. And, um, and the success we have or failure we have is due to how we're working as a team. Over the past um, six months in particular, I've seen a lot of improvement and feel much better about where we're going. We're just changing things to make things better, and who doesn't want to be better? They want to know how do I get better, and that, that's, I didn't expect to see that sort of self-ignite, which I think really helps us move the business forward, and we need it.